Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Lindsay. Today we're going to talk about angles, but before we do that, I would like you to pause this video, try the warm-up, and push play once you're done so you can check your answer. Okay, so I got x values of negative 4 and 2. Important thing to notice here is I did not assume that PQ is congruent to QR because we don't know it's the midpoint. So the only thing that we can do, the only thing we know is that PQ plus QR is equivalent to the whole segment uh, PR. So that's the actual equation that I set up. Now remember, just because X is negative doesn't mean that it doesn't work. You need to check both. So I plug that in to QR and PQ, but as soon as I plugged in negative 4 to QR, I get a negative value. Therefore, I knew that negative 4 value would not work. So, plugging 2 in, I got QR to be 8, PQ to be 7, therefore it is not a midpoint. Alright, so let's go ahead and start angles here. So we're going to um, work with congruent angles, classifying angles, naming angles, and angles that are bisected. Okay, so we have uh, the what am I worksheet here. So what I would like you to do is go ahead and take a look at these and fill those in Again, pause the video fill those in read the descriptions and then push play once you're done to check your answers okay uh, so i'm made up of two rays both rays have the same endpoint the common endpoint is called the vertex my two rays are called sides and there are many name ways to name me which we'll get to on the next slide a number placed inside me near the vertex by a single letter naming the vertex. This is a special case that we're going to definitely discuss here. And three letters following this sign. And please note, the vertex letter must be in the middle. So when I'm taking a look here at these examples, so if I have this angle, there is only one angle here as well as this one. There is only one angle there as well. So when I name this, I can use one single letter to name both of those angles. Okay. But again, please notice the vertex must be the middle letter. Okay. Must be the middle letter. Now, this one below has a number in it, so I can also use that number. Okay. Again, special case with you using just one letter. We cannot do that over here because there are actually one, two, three angles. So we have angle two, angle three, and then we have the larger angle, KBM. So if you write angle B, we do not know which angle you're referring to. Okay. All right, so let's move on here. Using the following diagram, we want to name two pairs of congruent angles and use a congruency statement. Um, so this is similar to what we did with segments. We are looking for lines or markings that are exactly the same. So here we have a marking, um, two squiggles with a line through it. So those two angles are congruent. And again, realize I cannot say angle P. I must use three letters. So I'll use P, um, sorry, M, P, A, and that is congruent to angle C, F, G. Okay, so let's see if there's anything else, and I believe there is. Yes, this would be um, this angle right over here. Again, with this angle, so angle A, M, P. And that is congruent to angle F, G, T. All right, uh, moving on to B. What is another name for angle 2? And we have a couple options here. So here is angle 2. M, H, P. Or we could also do M, H, A. We can also reverse the order. A, H, M. And P, H, M. Any of those will work. So angle A H M. Okay, couple definitions here. 
if you want to go ahead and pause this so you can write these down and then resume that would be fine um, but here we have an acute angle an acute angle uh, most people would say it's less than 90 but you can't forget that it is also greater than zero obtuse is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 right angles which we referred to already um, are 90 degrees and straight angles are 180 degrees and these should actually be reviewed from earlier as well. Congruent angles, angles that have the same measure as well as an angle bisector, which is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. Um, so again, a ray divides it into two congruent angles is an angle bisector. Okay, so let's try a few examples here. Name the congruent angles. So all we know in part A is that ray RO bisects angle NRP. So we only know something about this angle here. So if it's bisected, those are congruent. Uh, so you could say angle NRO is congruent to angle PRO. Moving over to B, here we have ray xt and ray xv trisect angle s x w so this larger angle and again that's the only thing we know so these three angles would then be congruent so i would have angle s x t congruent to angle t x v is congruent to angle v x w Okay. Three. Um, we're going to skip B, but we'll do A. It says name the angle bisector. Okay, so we have this congruent over here. Um, so it bisects it. So we'd, uh, we'd have JG, and that would be a ray. And again, I said we were going to skip B, but we'll go ahead and do it. So we have uh, POK is congruent to M OK. So again, these are congruent. So in this case here, we have OK is the angle bisector. Now let's put some degree measures to this. Um, so in part A, we have uh, 60 degrees. So let's see here, we have angle XTZ. We want to find that if TZ, the ray TZ bisects angle y uh, x t y and x t y equals 60 so this whole angle here this whole angle is 60. so if that's bisected these are congruent so we can just half 60 so x t z would then be equal to 30 degrees um, we are also going to skip d here we have not done um, minutes yet so but i would like you to pause and go ahead and do c and plus 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 Press play when you're ready to continue. Okay, 18.25. All right, now for the next several problems, you're gonna see that this is the exact same diagram. The given information is different. So, really, really important, as I've always been saying, take your given information, mark it on your diagram, and then let's try to come up with an equation. So here we have angle E, B, C is a right angle. Mark that on my diagram. Measure of angle E, B, F, so this angle right in here, is 6X plus 3. Mark that. Angle F, B, C is 4X minus 1. We mark that. Again, let's pull an algebraic equation off of here. So I see that I have a right angle, and these two angles, E, B, F, and F, B, C, make up this right angle. So they would add to 90 degrees. So 6x plus 3, 4x minus 1, equals 90. Now I have an equation I can solve. So I'll get 10x equals 88. And then if we divide, we get that to be 8.8. .8. Okay, and just like all of our problems here, just because we found x, that doesn't mean we answered our question. Let's go back and read it. 
we want to find the measure of angle FBC. So we need to plug in 8.8 .8 into 4x minus 1. So using our calculator, we get that to be 34.2 degrees. Okay. Let's go ahead and try the next one. All right, given different information here, BF bisects angle EBC. So from that, I can mark these two angles are congruent. Now I also have angle FBC is 3X plus 2. Mark that off. And then we also know angle EBC, the larger one, is 9X minus 1. So I'm going to kind of just mark that just like this, because again, that can get a little bit confusing. Um, so EBC is 9X minus 1. Well, okay, so where's our equation? We know these two angles equal or add up to EBC. We also know they're congruent, so this angle would also be 3X plus 2. So if I add those two together, or in other words, double 3x plus 2, I can set that equal to the larger angle, 9x minus 1, and then solve that. So again, distribute through, use our algebra here, solve for x, so we get 5 thirds equals x. Again, is that what we're looking for? Well, we're looking for angle EBC, the larger one, so we can simply plug that into 9x minus 1 and get that to be 9. Okay, I would like you to actually pause this video, try number 7 and number 8 on your own, and then push play to check your answers, and then we'll do the last one together. Okay, so here is the answer for number seven. Again, please make sure you're labeling the diagram, and this one, it's key to remember a straight angle equals 180 degrees. So I did um, angle ABE, which is 9x minus 2, plus angle EBC, which is 4X, add up to that straight angle of 180. Solve for X. And then 8. And this one, um, these two angles added up to angle DBC, which is 115. All right, so let's tackle this last one. B and C trisect AD. Very careful. This is a segment not an angle. So these are three congruent segments. AD is 12, and hopefully again you see since it's trisected, each of these would then be equal to 4. So EB, I'm sorry, AB would be 4, AC would be 8. Okay, if AB equals x plus 3, so that would also be equal to 4, x would then be 1, so then I can find AE by simply plugging in 1 and giving that to be 9 for segment AE. And last but not least is B, the midpoint of AC, so again if I kind of just ignore CD, and I'm just simply looking here at AD. Is our AC? Yes, this is 4, this is 4, so that would definitely be yes. Okay, so this concludes our section on angles. Um, so refer to your calendar for the homework for um, um, angles.